in the winter time, there's fewer people and the clouds sort of diffuse the light and the snow really dampens the sound and there's just a whole different type of serenity to appreciate. You, know, you see it in the bison's breath, which is something you would never see in the warmer temperatures. Um, and when the mountains are covered in snow, it just brings out these natural contours of the landscape to make the mountains look even bigger and more magnificent against a blue sky. Uh, my name is Emily Schaubacher and I cover health care at the Billings Gazette. Um, and I got this opportunity to go snowmobiling in, the, in Yellowstone National Park with photographer Mike Clark. And um, we got to go on a snowmobile tour that started in West Yellowstone. And we followed the Madison River up to Gibbon Falls before we went on to the Grand Canyon of, the, of Yellowstone. And round trip, it was about 90 miles. One particular moment comes to mind when we're talking about wildlife in the park in the winter time. Um, we came to a stop along the Madison River um, because there was a small herd of bison that had congregated down right by the water's edge. And um, their backs were covered in snow and some were swinging their heads back and forth to get down to the vegetation at the bottom. And with the clouds overhead, the river was just glossy and dark and it reflected the silhouettes of the bison as well as the mountain behind them and it was just when there wasn't a snowmobile driving by you could just feel the quietness and the stillness that is in the park in the winter time. My favorite part of the snowmobile trip was when we stopped at Burl Springs. It is one of the hottest springs in Yellowstone and on a day that's 15 degrees or colder outside, the steam just billows up out of the earth. And when the wind is blowing just right, it makes it so it's hard to see in front of you because the, the steam is so thick. And um, all the trees around the spring get this really interesting frost on them. It's called hoarfrost. And it happens when the vapor free, or comes in contact with a surface that's already below freezing and it freezes instantly and it creates this really feathery looking frost and all the trees are just covered in it and it's really beautiful. Visiting the park in the winter time is definitely a rude awakening to warmer or warming temperatures. You know, there are spots where the pavement is coming through because the sun has melted it. And, you know, our tour guides talk about low snow accumulations this year and the difficulties they've had in the last few years. Um, and then you know, when you're in West Yellowstone, you see all these pictures of buildings just buried under feet and feet of snow. And that is just something that doesn't happen anymore. That kind of snow doesn't exist now. Above everything else, it's really important to be thoughtful about your visit. You know, yes, enjoy the wildlife and yes, enjoy the views. But keep in mind how important the legacy of Yellowstone is and why it's important to preserve it for future generations.